Hello and welcome to our fourth tutorial about Prolog. Today we are going to learn about variable in Prolog. Let me make it red. Variable in Prolog and atom in Prolog. So let's have an overview about the variable, which is the must start with a capital letter. Okay, this is the one condition. Start with letters or underscore. That means we can use underscore or later like a like b it is it here have one example that likes azim azim is here is atom and x you can see that this is the capital letter here so x is the variable here so there have a one kind of special variable which uh, after complete this one i will give one example about the anonymous variable then we will learn more about that one in atom it's very simple just consists of letter numbers and underscore and must remember this is start with non capital letter so there have a difference between variable and atom is variable start with capital letter and atom start with non capital letter so let's have a look on example open your prolog program and uh, i have one file which is the for the anonymous variable and let's just click anonymous so we just consult but we have to see what have inside our anonymous file so go file edit and click on anonymous so it will be open up okay let me make it small so put here so now in this example we will see about the variable as well as anonymous variable so here we have that person that have some characteristics of a person uh, okay what characteristics we have that like this is the name of the person is Shajib like let's say this is the height 5.6 eye color and hair color so what we can do here like okay that have a person that have a person what will be happen like if I just only put one but this is one two three four so let's have a look what will be happen dot so it will be give you error why undefined procedure person one however there are different definition for person four because he said you person four so you are not sure about uh, when you are not but prologue will give you that there are four so let's have a look and let's have a change this we make it name shajib and maybe underscore 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 we give four so now I have four this true that means uh, in person close that have a name which is Shajib and this is I use you see the underscore 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 this is called anonymous variable it is very useful in prologue so let's have a look uh, how we can determine something uh, let's say I from here we want to detect that give the name whose height it 5.6 that means uh, how many person here have 5.6 height 5.6 5.6 two person Shajib and Konka so let's have a we just run one comment one query that it will return the name so person so actually we don't know which person we want to get the name so just put the X so this is the variable X then what was the condition was the height should be 5.6 5.6 then there have no other condition that means we don't care about this black black brown black black brown we don't care about that eye color and hair color so just put anonymous variable that's how I said that this is useful so let's run it so it will be get x equal to shajib and there have one more result so just put the semicolon you will get it so x equal to conquer so this they give the result so this is the anonymous variable and it's all about the variable so Thank you guys for watching this tutorial.